On Wednesday, Kuha General Hospital, one of the largest hospitals in the region, with an expected coverage of 5 million people, announced that it's being forced to discontinue essential surgical procedures, emergency OPD services, nutrition services, and food provision for patients due to the ongoing siege on Tigray. Medical director at the hospital, Dr. Kibrom Tawalda, said the hospital had less than 33% of necessary medical supplies in stock, forcing it to significantly reduce services provided at the hospital. Current days. Uh, what we have in our hand is uh, less than 33 percent and uh, more than 8 percent of laboratory reagents are uh, stock out out of stock uh, so the medical equipments and medical supplies also uh, they are damaged following the war and following the siege and uh, blockage so uh, uh, due to this problem Currently, uh, the service given in uh, uh, emergency OPD, in OR uh, theater room, including uh, uh, major surgery, is compromised because we don't have uh, anesthetic drugs like uh, vecronium, pancronium, and uh, succinamethanium. So totally, we stop it, uh, major surgery. And in uh, eye clinic also, Patients that uh, deserve, uh, after uh, operation or post-operation, that deserve antibiotics and uh, steroids due to lack of steroid drugs. Uh, so the surgery is already collapsed. It is totally stopped. Dr. Kibrom said that the discontinuation of vital services, especially telecommunication and lack of fuel, has made it impossible to track the status of patients with chronic illnesses such as HIV and diabetes. So from HIV uh, patients that follows uh, HIV medicine drugs, uh, around 121 patients are lost currently and two patients are died. And from diabetic patients that uh, take uh, glucose lowering drugs or anti diabetic drugs, about uh, 117 uh, patients are already lost. So the service is totally uh, compromised. The medical director also said that the continuing blockade on the region has had an adverse effect on the nutrition service the hospital used to provide to pregnant and lactating women, resulting in 425 women out of 989 being underweight and 80 children being delivered with a low birth weight while 80 women had miscarriages. Uh, regarding the nutrition service uh, from uh, lactating and pregnant uh, mothers, uh, from uh, 989 uh, pregnant and lactating mothers, almost 425 are underweight due to lack of uh, nutrition. So uh, as a consequence of lack of nutrition in this year, from uh, 790 delivered uh, neonates, uh, one for all 14 uh, neonates are uh, delivered as stillbirths. And uh, more than 80 uh, neonates are uh, delivered as low birth weight. And about uh, 81 uh, mothers are giving spontaneous abortion. Dr. Kabrom also discussed the Himalayan cataract project that brought ophthalmologists from around the world to provide free surgical procedures to rural and poor communities across the Gra. The doctor explained that the procedure has been completely discontinued and that many are going blind due to lack of medical attention. Before two years, we were giving uh, different campaigns as an outreach program. In one year, uh, we were giving about 10 or 11 uh, campaigns. In this campaign, uh, almost from 8 up to 10,000 people was, were uh, getting uh, adequate service, especially uh, surgical services like glaucoma sur surgery, cataract surgery, TT surgery, and so on. But due to lack of transportation and uh, lack of uh, supply of non-governmental organizations, this service was, this, this service was totally compromise it. So this patient, I think, as, a, as our assumption, this patient are, either they are complicated or they are becoming uh, bilateral blindness. So this is, I think, a very difficult condition. 
So uh, all governmental and non-governmental organizations and the world community also uh, should take an immediate measure. Uh, I think we recommend as hospital before uh, our people is uh, died, become blind and become complicated. <coughs> Dr. Kibrom emphasized that the siege was significantly affecting the capacity of the health system to provide care for its patients. The doctor asked that the world take the health crisis seriously and do more to ensure the Ethiopian government restores vital services and allows unfettered access to humanitarian organizations to provide food aid and medical supplies to Tigray. Closing of or compromising of services in either specialized hospital and at the same time in Kiha. Uh, hospital is very difficult to the population of uh, Tigray in general. So if these two hospitals are closed or partially stopped their uh, activities, uh, I think uh, it is difficult to decide. Uh, the population is still uh, becoming suffering. Uh, the suffering is also is increasing. So this is, I think, uh, the end. I th to me, it is, uh, it is, it is enough. I, I, I like to say it should be uh, enough. Uh, from now onwards, uh, very, very, very much people will die, uh, and so uh, I don't know. It is, it is a difficult condition. It is difficult to explain. Also, the closing of these two big hospitals is the consequence in the people is very, very difficult condition. UN Weekly Peace Observatory report published this week says it recorded 19 instances of organized violence in Ethiopia that cost more, 20, more than 20 civilians their lives. All instances of violence with facilities, fatalities, were recorded in the Romia region, where the Ethiopian government has been undertaking a so-called law enforcement operation against a Romo Liberation Army. The report indicated that Fano, an irregular armed group from the Amhara region, were the main perpetrators of violence against civilians, committing gruesome atrocities against children and internally displaced persons. In one instance, Fano militia clashed with the federal police forces in an unspecified location in Horogud Luzon after refusing the resettlement of the internally displaced persons. The militia also attacked and killed an unknown number of farmers who were IDPs who had on the same day returned to their primary residence. Continuous attacks against civilians by the government forces were, recorded, were also recorded in the region. Members of the government security forces, presumably the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, killed an unidentified number of farmers in several areas of the West Shoa. The report also recorded clashes between ethnic and armed groups in the south in the southern region of Ethiopia, Argoba, Gambela, and other regions of Ethiopia. The Fano are the one, one of the main perpetrators of violence against civilians in Tigray, taking a leading role in the ethnic cleansing campaign in western Tigray and perpetrating violence against the innocent Tigrayan civilians across Ethiopia.